2019 Ford Ranger Car Review. Ford is hoping which the latter situation is what is going on in the mid-size pickup class at the moment, and many types of signs indicate this as a possible ideal time for it to relaunch the Ranger. The Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon take prescription track for approximately 170,000 combined sales in 2018. Toyota's Tacoma may be selling steadily whilst the domestics were away and it is now riding the course momentum with the 250,000 sales this coming year, plus the Honda Ridgeline is an OK year by Ridgeline standards which aren't particularly aspirational, especially seeing that it looks such as a minivan. Ranger Danger Ford has become out on the mid-size truck game inside US since 2011 which incidentally is identical year since the launch in the Global Ranger that underpins this new truck and may be sold elsewhere from the world since. But this new North American Ranger may be thoroughly updated and improved for duty here. Think on the Global Ranger since the truck a child makes from Play-Doh as well as the U.S. Market Ranger because result any time a professional designer uses his resource to style a clay buck. The frame is fortified with mounting locations for solid steel bumpers back and front, current optional towing package, the Ranger is rated to tow nearly 7,500 pounds or haul 1860 inside bed. That latter figure is also as big because the F-150S number. Ford also says it revised its sheet metal stampings to tense up panel gaps on American trucks as opposed to runners for overseas markets although we're able to see daylight across the tailgate when viewing it within the rear-view mirror. No eye-opening towing figure begins with a wimpy engine. The Ranger has a different approach than its crosstown rivals, that offers gas 4 and 6-cylinder engines plus a diesel 4 in addition to the choice of manual or automatic transmissions. Ford hopes you want a turbo 4 plus a 10-speed automatic transmission because that is the only power drain it includes. The Ford displaces 2.3 liters and generates 270 horsepower and 310 lb-ft of torque. Gear ratios remain the same from the Ranger as they are inside the F-150, together with the only difference to be a smaller bell hissing within the Ranger's transmission to allow for its smaller torque converter. Those output figures are just the inverse on the GM Twins 3.6-liter V6, that produces 308 horsepower and 275 lb-ft. As such, the Rangers 4 feels plenty powerful, with all the 10-speed swapping through ratios quickly and smoothly. But with 7th to be a direct 1.00-1 and 3 overdrives, acceleration was clearly not the most notable priority. Ford had some hauling and towing exercises set up for us because of this first drive, but another journalist destroyed a fender about the bigger trailer, so all we will sample was the Ranger using a pair of jet skis behind it. They presented no challenge. It's handsome. Polite, too. Style is the place where the mid-size truck market comes with a edge around the full size. From the Ridgeline for the Butch Tacoma, the spectrum is significantly broader here. The Ranger tows what a lot of us consider to be the most effective line between tough and stylish, using the high riding look with the Taco and also the Colorado ZR2 providing a surprisingly handsome home for Ford's hexagonal grille. Inside, lower trim trucks are afflicted by uninspired black plastics, but the very best trims get upgraded to richer pieces. It helps which the Ranger rides well. There's a fair bit of dive and squat under braking and acceleration, but that is to be expected which has a vehicle lofted really at high level over its axles. In turns, your body rolls slightly, then requires a set hose maintains without the unsettling wobble. Towheel drive rangers have 8.4 inches of ground clearance, as the 4x4s gain less than an inch for 
Both configurations offer electronically locking rear differentials, as you move the front remains open in 4x4s. 4-wheel drive adds about 250 pounds and slightly increased busyness through the front end, though the ride remains civil. Getting dirty not only does the Ranger provide usual complement of on-road safety systems, lane departure warning and assist, blind spot monitors with trailer coverage, automated emergency braking, but it features a full range of off-road assistance also. Ford's crawl control uses an electronically controlled hydraulic pump to hammer away in the ABS circuits to take care of speed on off-road downhill runs. And. As is also all the rage today, the Ranger gets multiple off-road settings rolling around in its terrain management system. With a normal setting, one for grass, gravel, and snow, another for mud and ruts, and also a sand setting, the device adjusts ABS, stability, and traction control settings also as throttle and transmission mapping. And what looks just like a skid plate for the FX4 happens to be a steel plate. Further building around the confidence that gave us, Ford's people actually refer to it as a bash plate. While the powered rain portfolio may very well be simple, your truck is otherwise available inside same mind-boggling selection of configurations as you'd expect. There are XL, XLT and lariat trim levels, two and four wheel drive, extended cabin full crew body styles super cabin super crew, in Ford's confusing lexicon. With rear seat backs that happen to be fixed towards the cab wall, the super cab space is a lot more for stuff than people, even so the super crew is surprisingly spacious inside. This 6 foot 7 inch author emerged from the 1.5 hour stint inside back seat feeling perfectly comfortable. That wouldn't figure out so well for most other trucks on this class. Pricing for your super cab opens at $25,395 for the rear driver and $29,555 for the 4x4. Crew cab trucks start at $27,615 with rear wheel drive and $31,775 for the 4x4. Load up a four wheel drive Lariat, and this will be possible to surpass $40,000 for just a Ranger. But that's par for the course, and nobody within the mid size truck class leaves $1 or sale within the table anymore.